Hello, welcome to the Met Office Week Ahead forecast. Following a grey and dreary weekend for many of us, the weather this week is looking a lot brighter. There'll be some sunshine, but there'll also be a fair few blustery showers and temperatures take a downward trend. It's going to turn colder by the end of the week. A chilly start to Tuesday, clear skies overnight will have led to a widespread frost in many places. But milder temperatures further west ahead of two warm fronts that are moving in. Now, one warm front will push into northwest Scotland and the other will start to affect southwest England as we begin Tuesday. The one in northwest Scotland will just turn the showers to more prolonged rain and we'll still see some snow over the hills. Further southwest, South Wales and the southwest of England, it's going to turn grey and damp by the afternoon. But bright skies remain in the east and temperatures here, six or seven degrees. Now, developments all the way on the other side of the Atlantic will begin to impact our weather through the middle part of the week. This low pressure system is forming and it will draw very mild air all the way from Florida, bump it into very cold air over the north of Canada and fuel an active jet stream. This fast flowing current of air high in the sky will tend to pick up areas of low pressure and move them towards us. This low pressure sending outbreaks of rain across the country on Tuesday night. Now, after a wet start to the day on Wednesday, England and Wales will turn brighter and by the afternoon, sunshine returns in many places. But as this clears away, we open the door to very cold northwesterly winds and we'll see a mixture of sunny spells and frequent showers. The most frequent showers will be in the northwest where we'll see a mixture of rain, sleet and snow and the snow will build up over ground above 200 metres or so. Those brisk winds will reach gale force across northern and western Britain and the low pressure only slowly moves away through Wednesday night. Uh, the strongest the winds transferring by Thursday from north to eastern parts of Britain. We're all into that cold air as we begin Thursday, a fairly widespread frost. But despite a chilly start and despite a continuing strong wind for northern and eastern Britain, well, actually Thursday, it's an improving picture. The showers will gradually fade away and for many places we'll see long sunny spells developing, particularly further west. Temperatures, though, will feel cold, especially in that brisk wind. Thursday night, in fact, that wind will start to come down and we'll see a widespread frost again. In fact, coldest night of the week, temperatures well below freezing. A big contrast further west, this mild air, all the way from Florida, remember, that's going to start to move in and it's helped to form an area of low pressure. Now, that low pressure will start to move our way by Friday, but as it bumps into the cold air, well, interesting things could happen because we're going to start off with particularly cold temperatures on Friday. And there's some uncertainty at this stage in terms of how quickly any rainfall moves in from the west. Now, this is carrying mild air, but as it bumps into the cold, there's the risk that some of that rain will turn to snow. But it all depends on its timing and its angle of attack. So a bit of uncertainty at this stage, but there's the threat of snowfall for certainly the northern half of Britain as we end the week. It's only temporary, though, because that weather system will introduce mild air again. And that's how we begin the weekend. Mild temperatures, but fairly grey skies. However, through the weekend, things change once more. It starts to turn colder, although it will begin to look a bit brighter once again. So far, February, very similar to January, but there are signs that the weather will change fairly significantly into next week. There are some indications that high pressure will begin to build perhaps giving us some more prolonged settle spells. But uh, there's a lot going on in the next few days before that happens. And you can, of course, keep up to date with all the latest on the Met Office website through our app and via our social media channels.